Kamehameha! No offense intended and none taken. I was a big fan of Dragon Ball, dude. Jaime, get your day straight. It's Wednesday, not Tuesday today. And no, today's Saturday. Jaime, you're an Apple fanboy and Michael is a Microsoft fanboy. You know it. Uh, Michael will not agree. That's right, it's that time of the week. I am Jaime Rivera, this is Pocket Now, and this is the Pocket Now Daily Recap for last week, brought to you by lynda.com. So on Monday, I asked you if you would buy the Nexus 6 or a Nexus 5, now that the Nexus 5 is out on retail again. We have 693 comments out of which Bugs Bunny, love to have you with us, says, The Nexus 5 feels a little outdated, not because of the specs, but because of what it used to compete for. After almost two years in the market, the price should drop to at least $100 off each model. And uh, yes, you do have a solid point there. Yes, it's two years ago hardware. It should drop in price a little more, but then again, it's not like if the Nexus 5 was ever pricey. Then Javon says, I'm watching this video from the Nexus 5 and I'm enjoying this. If I had to choose one, I choose the one with the smaller display. The Nexus 6 display is just too big and I think the rest of the world agrees with you. And not everybody wants a phablet. I'm a big fan, but uh, not always. And Roger Toledo says, the Nexus 6 because it is all the things that I like. AMOLED display, 2K resolution, and front-facing speakers. Yes, but that's not the only phone that brings these things. Then on Tuesday, I asked you what color options do you want for the Galaxy S6 as the rumors are that we have a white, uh, dark blue, teal, and gold variants coming soon. We have 490 comments out of which one of them says, Black or white are classic colors that never get old. But I've been fond of, uh, even though I'm not a Verizon wireless customer, I like some of the variants like the Red Xperia Z3 or the football skin Moto X. And uh, I love the Nokia Lumia 920 and Ferrari Red. But colors vary. It depends on people. And Kushik says, Hey Samsung, rather than bringing different kind of S6 models, this time is to focus on your UI and design. Make it smooth, sleek, bring gunmetal gray color and take my money. I am sick and tired of hearing about TouchWiz. Uh, yes, apparently that is going to be fixed. And uh, yeah, I would love a gunmetal gray Galaxy S6 as well. And Michael Jimenez says, the color of a phone is overrated to be honest. As long as the specs and the design is on point, the color doesn't matter to me. Agree anyone? You have 38 likers, but there were 490 comments. That's less than 9%. Uh, so I guess not everybody agrees with you, but yeah, for some people, like me two years ago, black was the way to go. But then again, new colors do seem cool lately. Then on Wednesday, I asked you, would you like an iPhone-like design or a Samsung-like design for the Galaxy S6 as uh, we've got some leaks? The show is a device that looks a lot like the iPhone 6. We have 933 comments out of which Kalen says, Samsung, go ahead. Copy Apple's design. I dare you. No matter what you do, the damage has been done with your laggy and bloated software and your plasticky and cheap. Yes, still the same price for the iPhone. Smartphones. Um, yeah, I guess uh, Samsung can do that. It's done it before and it's got sued like crazy. Uh, so yeah, I would dare Samsung to do it again as well. And Colin Brannon says, Personally, I'd be happy as if Samsung would completely stole Apple's design and had an aluminum back. I like everything with Samsung better than Apple except the design, lol, and I'm having a little bit of a tough time understanding your comment, but uh, yes, I would love a Samsung Galaxy A5, for example, brought a full aluminum design, and I would love to see that on the Galaxy S6. I've just never really been a fan of aluminum because it's not as durable as plastic, oddly. Then another commenter says, you can copy Apple's design, but you cannot copy Apple's superior apps ecosystem, smoothness, and speed, and their phones their superior fingerprint sensor, and uh, I think that's where all companies want to go. You have a point. Apple has done a very good job in everything that it's done. But then again, the company has lagged behind in other things that have been important for consumers. That's the reason why Galaxy phones sell like crazy and why most of us love the Moto X. And uh, it's not that Apple's perfect, but yeah, what they do right, like the fingerprint scanner, is something that everybody should replicate. Then on Thursday, I asked you if you would choose the Swatch smartwatch concept that's being rumored over every other, as uh, the rumors are that this will be a smartwatch that won't need to be charged ever. We have 409 comments out of which Bradley says, I choose the Apple Watch and sell it for a high price and buy Swatch's smartwatch and hopefully have uh, money to spare. Um, I'm not sure the Swatch smartwatch will be that affordable. And Hisham says, definitely yeah. I mean, it's a Swatch and I do agree, Swatch makes really cool designs. And Rashan says, Swatch is a recognized luxury watch brand and with a lifetime battery, it's the best buy. And I agree with you. My biggest problem with smartwatches really is the battery life. It's the fact that I have to charge them every day. Watches were not made to be this way. And the fact that I have to charge it every single time is just the way to go things backwards. In the past, smartphones, 
phones, regular phones, their batteries were terrible and smartphones have done a better job than these phones. So it does make sense to move to a smartphone, but in the case of smartwatches, it's the other way around. Then finally on Friday, I asked you, what would you pick, Galaxy S Edge or Galaxy S6, as we have the first leaked uh, photos of what these devices look like, and they look really cool. We have 423 comments out of which names don't matter, says. How would you hold a double-edged phone? Um, that is a good question, but I'm sure that the designers figure that one out. And Tickles to Coffee says, if they were the same price, I would consider it. But I just need some hands-on time to be sure. And also, damn you, Samsung. Just when you think that I am done with you, you make a sexy-looking Galaxy S6. And I do agree with you. That's what Samsung is trying to do, actually. They're trying to get people back into their ecosystem. So yes, yeah, sexy design has a lot to do with it. And then finally, another commenter says, I don't give a flying F about the edge. I just want a removable battery. And that's something that's got us a little concerned. If you look at the leaked renders, it seems that these uh, phones will not have a replaceable battery. So uh, this could be a step back moving forward to what we currently see with the Galaxy Alpha lineup. Not necessarily something we like, but hey, if they figure out good battery life, then why not? It's famous on the Note lineup, so how about if they do it on the Galaxy S6 as well? We'll see. And folks, if you've ever wanted to learn how to play a music instrument, build your own website, or hey, even build a cool video like this one, there are thousands of awesome courses at our sponsor, lynda.com slash pocket now. That's lynda.com slash pocket now for a free 10 day trial. And that's it for our Pocket Now Daily Recap. Thank you very much for watching. A couple of tips if you want your comments to be featured. Number one, keep them short. Number two, stick to the point. Number three, try to get some thumbs up. It helps us spot them out all easier. You can also follow us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next week.